you, you have a nutritional package that's obviously satisfying the plant because you wouldn't get these second, second ears oh. if you didn't. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, those are just a situation where the plant recognizes it's got enough nutrition to go ahead and try to send okay. the second ear. Okay. Now, the hardest part about trying to discern what to do with that is, am I going to try and figure out a program to take care of this so that it actually goes ahead and does what I want it to? If everything is perfect in terms of moisture and nutrient supplying ability, you could follow your feed and, and actually put more stuff on here. Okay. But that's something that you have to evaluate year to year and it's not easy. But this is uh, Monsanto's 4327. It's the big hybrid in Dickey County. Um, it, it will flex a quick. Maybe I should plant 25,000 and have See, that, that's the other and side get, of it. And get two years. And then, but then that's that's based on knowing that if that will do that at 25,000, it's consistent. Then it's a good decision. Okay. If you can't confirm that, you live with the second ear. That's because you can't afford the loss of, of production mm -hmm. at 25,000 that you need when you're getting it at 30 to 34. Okay. Even though it's a pain, it's more of a pain up here than it is anywhere well, and, else. Well, and that's kind of yeah. what I, I needed yeah. you to answer that right. question because right. I, I do get to some of these meetings. I was at one this summer with Ferry down in Watertown, and he, he just chewed our asses out. If you, well, you're seeing this, you got to get rid of it. I think like, that's well, the difference between him and me. I'm not yeah. going to chew your ass out for having a second ear because, yeah. you know, you, you look at the quality of the first ear. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What's this? That's Goss's wheel. Oh, See the black around the outside edge? Yeah. Too close up there. Lots of it. Yeah. Two fourteens, eh? Apparently, that come in fairly late. Mm -hmm. Well, and like I said, we, where you get some kind of damage on the plant, you're going to uh, you're going to spread it faster too. You know, where we had the hail over there at Spencer's, it spread like wildfire through his field. It just took the whole top of the crop completely out. Well, you know, here this one had some kind of damage on it, and the whole upper part of the plant's been affected already. Could be a corn bore or anything else that put you know, makes a hole and you're done. 